good evening everyone so today we are discussing about uh, mon- i mean uh, collecting the performance data into time series databases so first we uh, get into kafka and then uh, from kafka there is a consumer which 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 put puts it into influx db so first uh, since fopenanma supports only one time series database we need to have a strategy as osj since it is uh, uh we have the kafka to be uh, as a osga bundle we made as a osga itself so we need to have this strategy as osga and then install install feature it's already installed the feature is uh, open as kafka producer So, Overmass Kafka producer has a Kafka producer, which gets data from uh, the collection set to it converts to Proto and it produces into Kafka. So, we can take an example here. So, we have a command to persist the collection set data. So here, like the minus minus persist is the command that we added. So it. wherever whichever whichever is the persister like nudes or rrd or anything so it persists to that persister so here we can persist to kafka so it persists to the collection so i have the docker running for kafka and i have a influx db running as well here so and as well Uh, Jesse wrote a consumer for from Kafka to Influx. So it consumes from Kafka and right into points, which are Influx DB uh, points. Uh, it has it has group wise and as well like it tags all other things like node ID or interface ID and those things. So to view the data from the influx we have grafana grafana has a plugin for influx it has a data source for influx so i installed data source for influx db and then uh, a dashboard we had data source there and then i have collection open and mass we can uh, we can do everything here so for doing the interface stats we take the data sources in plus db and from here like we have all the tags all the groups that openmas has so let's take mib and the fields are like uh, if an octet sorry for octets and if high speed if name we can take if an octets and then mean so we need to aggregate to i think we need to transform it to non negative derivative and it shows and then we need to modify the access to bits per second and we can group by node id or so it shows like so node id 0 which is probably response data and node id 1 and node id 2 or uh, we can note by label so it has a label set so open and a mass cz home or we can note by interface so it shows much of interfaces here so this way like we can actually have all the collection collected data showing grafana from the influx db so the good i mean uh, the best thing is like you don't need to have the influx db running always you can have the kafka running and then it can collect all the data and you can have uh, passes to influx db whenever you want because everything is there in kafka and then you can get all the things working so for it for the kafka to work we modified uh, collection set into proto uh, so this is how it looks the proto so it has uh, the base as collection set 
it has a timestamp and collection set resources. So each resource has either has a node level, interface level, or generic, and numeric attributes and string attributes. So node level has a node type instance. Type is, I think, lib. Uh, sorry, generic has, uh, so node level has node ID, foreign source, foreign ID, node label, and location. And interface level has always has node level. Uh, even generic has node level. And uh, interface level has instance. And generic has type and instance. So we don't include anything with strategies like how do we how do we store because it's static data we don't send it so all other things are here uh, we have group in numeric attribute uh, and that actually has association with numeric I mean every attribute of the numeric so that's, that's mostly it is and we have the Consumer here for open openms to influx from I mean it consumes from Kafka to openflux. So that's all I have. So my code is still it's not in development. So we need to have two persisters running at least uh, so that like we have RRD as well as Kafka. So so once we get uh, get to that working, we can have in develop. That's all for me. Any questions? So uh, what? What's the purpose of this work with respect to what we already do in Cassandra? What's the, the use case for this relevant to what we already do? So, uh, mostly to get into time series databases like Influx or any other time series. Like, So, we don't support the time series databases, right? So, to support them. Right, but we support Cassandra, which is a time series database. So, is this so we have, Cassandra, we don't. Or is this just taking a flow from OpenNMS and putting it into something else? So Newt still has to depend on uh, RRD graphs and those other things. But Grafana has uh, InfluxDB plugins. So we can generate user, I mean, we can generate graphs that are you need. So you can generate any graphs that you need. Uh, since, for, I mean, from RRD as well we can, but it's very simple to do it in Grafana. So to support other time series databases, databases so we use it in Flux and, I mean, to save it to Kafka. Seems like kind of a generic way to support any time series database. Yeah. Then actually we have a uh, customer request for storing data on something else that is not Cassandra and not RD. And that's the way to do it. Or let's say you want to implement like aggregated threshold in processing with machine learning. It's already in Kafka, so you can do it. Okay. Any questions? I would imagine this would also be a way to perform and scale across multiple pieces of hardware too, because you could have your Kafka systems, and then you could have influx on another set of hardware to you know, make you go. Yep. Go that route. Kafka is also like it is a log, so it, it doesn't. I mean, it scales well, so you can store any amount of data in Kafka. So RRD or anything else, maybe. It's, I mean, it needs more data than Kafka, I believe, probably. 